sometimes don't you think that things are just inevitable? When we study science, sometimes there are paradoxes that come our way. Hey everyone, today we explore the mind-bending concept of the bootstrap paradox and how it challenges our understanding of time and causality. It's fascinating to think about how time travel could potentially create loops and paradoxes that defy our conventional understanding of the past, present, and future. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That being said, let me start with this question. Have you ever considered that the decisions we think we make may not actually be our own? What if we are simply trapped in a repeating cycle of time? Today we will explore the intriguing concept known as the bootstrap paradox. Why is it called a bootstrap paradox? The bootstrap paradox takes its name from an expression that dates back to 1834, which implies to pull oneself over a fence by one's bootstraps, which came to represent the idea of performing a ludicrous or impossible task. Bootstrap paradox is a kind of paradox in which information or a person or an object sent back in time creates an infinite loop where the person or the object has no observable origin. In other words, it behaves as if it has no origin. It is also called the ontological paradox. When we study science, sometimes there are paradoxes that come our way. They might look exciting, but also confusing at the same time. We've seen movies like The Matrix, Predestination, or perhaps the Netflix series Dark. These make us question our understanding and beliefs. What if the choices we made are not really ours? What if we are, in fact, in a dream? Or what if we are just caught in a time loop? So now we are going to talk about such a paradox, the bootstrap paradox. Let's get to the basics first. What is the flow of time? To our current understanding, it is a continuous progress of events from the past that causes events in the present, which will affect events in the future. Therefore, time always passes in a straight line, with the future completely dependent upon events of the past and the present. Now imagine a boy named Albert, who was a great patron of physics, <laughs> like you and me. He has always wanted to meet his idol, Albert Einstein. Now, somehow he builds a time machine along with the greatest minds of the world. One night, he sneaks into the lab and uses the time machine to travel back in time to meet Albert Einstein. Now, on reaching the time of Albert Einstein, he visits Einstein's neighborhood to ask about him. Where is he? And how is he doing? Little does he know, he understands that there was no Albert Einstein ever existed in that residence. Even surprisingly, no one has ever heard of the name Albert Einstein. At first, he feels a little bit strange. What in the universe is going on? Fortunately, he remembers something. He carries a notebook containing all of Einstein's theories and equations, everything from E equals MC2 to relativity. Still being stuck in that world, he then rewrites the book in the name of Albert Einstein, an idol that has been a lifelong inspiration for him. And then, some scientists pick up his writing and got really intrigued by the theories inside. Over a period of time, those theories have been sensational, and eventually, they take the world by storm. He became famous, and now he understands that he is, and has always been, the Albert Einstein. So how is that possible? Without Einstein, Albert wouldn't have been able to become a scientist in the first place. But without him, there would have been no Albert Einstein ever existed. And this is the meat of the episode. This paradox goes against our understanding of time. An event A in the past causes event B in the present, which causes event C in the future. However, in this case, it is event C which has caused event A in the past, meaning that it does not fit with the linear explanation of time. Traveling back in time would allow for some causal loops involving events, information, or people and objects, for which histories form a closed loop and seem to arrive or emerge unexpectedly. This is the essential problem of the bootstrap paradox. The notion of objects or information that are self-existing in this way is very often viewed as paradoxical. And it doesn't stop there. The bootstrap paradox also violates the law of free will. Do we really have a free choice to build the time machine, or has it been ingrained in us in the first place? The most widely spread idea about it is a multiverse journey, which says, when a time traveler uses a time machine, 
they do not go back in time. Instead, they travel towards another multiverse, giving them the will to act freely in the other universe. Another problem that the bootstrap paradox presents is that it violates the second law of thermodynamics. The entropy of the system will either remain constant or increase, so an object used in a time loop will eventually wear down with time. Suppose that the entropy is altered as we go back in time, and hence the object is back to its original entropy. However, its entropy does not have a clear state since it doesn't have a clear origin to begin with, and this sort of gives rise to new problems. Therefore, paradoxes like the bootstrap and other grandfather paradox make many scientists like Brian Cox and Stephen Hawking believe that time travel is impossible. Hawking made this very clear in his books. He believed that there must be a law of nature to prevent time travel to the past. Time travel to the future is achievable, and even clocks in space do that. But time travel in the past cannot be possible. It would simply go against the laws of nature. In our case, we discussed the time loop, in which, if we would be caught, it would violate all the laws of physics. In conclusion, the bootstrap paradox challenges our understanding of time, causality, and free will. It introduces the concept of self-existing objects or information that create closed loops in time, defying our linear explanation of cause and effect. This paradox raises challenging questions about the nature of choice and the possibility of multiverse travel. If you found this discussion fascinating and want more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel for further engaging explorations of captivating topics. Your support means a lot to us and enables us to continue delving into these fascinating concepts. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more mind-bending discussions.